this is a fun time for Provo right now. Um, we're being recognized nationally for things like um, Forbes magazine recognizing us as the number one place in the entire United States for business and careers. Um, this last week I was recognized as the number one volunteer city in the entire United States for the seventh year in a row. Um, we were recognized as the most optimistic city this year in the entire United States. Uh, our downtown was rated the number one downtown, number one livable downtown in the entire United States. And so clearly as a leader you say, well how, does, how is this happening because we want to keep this momentum going. The city is experiencing tremendous growth, uh, largely because a lot of people believe in us, they're investing in us. We've not had a large increase in numbers of residents, but we have had a tremendous influx in business and investment in our city. There are many things uh, that, that we would attribute to the success of Provo, but I think in our heart are, are deeply embedded as a culture these speed of trust principles. And so um, part of our success are these principles that we not all have learned how to articulate. And, and yet when the speed of trust came along and, and helped us articulate those and now speak a common language as city management, that's been very powerful. And, and, and some of these things that are deep in our heart that we know about um, are actually then bubbling up and, and, and actually becoming more real. As we started this process, we were faced with a couple of decisions. Um, one was, uh, do we do what I would call the stereotypical training? Where we go, we get together, we do a rah-rah, we hear some great principles, we say, wow, we could do better, uh, everybody go, let's do this. Or do we really do a transformation? Do we change people's lives? Do we change our, the way that we handle problems? And it was clear to us that, that clearly we were not willing to do this unless we could actually change habits, people, and the way that we dealt with problems. And so one of the things that we liked about the Speed of Trust training was that it offered a process for transformation. It was far more than just a good day of training where we all felt good after the training. And, and we committed as a city to weekly meetings um, with, and, and, and I ask all my directors to meet every week and, and discuss this and make it a part of who they are. And we're seeing results because of that. People are actually changing now the way they, they confront problems and confront each other. And to me, that's made all the difference. Teaching us how to apply them and use them in our lives is really so critical. And, and it's part of, we, we talked about that, that, just that lubrication on the gears of a city that help us be that much better. And, and so uh, clearly, uh, the speed of trust has impacted us and how we're seen by our neighboring cities and really the world um, in, in Provo. And, and we're grateful for that. Hi, I'm Mayor John Curtis and welcome home.